okay so now let's see how we can give a name to our several points over here because everything unnamed is pretty bad to have I mean everything has a name on it so let's give these points a name in letters or numbers whatever you like so to do that you have to select the text command which is on the annotations tab over here so you just go to the drop down menu and click on single line text and what's the beauty of single line text is that you can actually specify the height and the angle at which you want to print the text onto the drawing over here and to and make sure that the ortho mode is turned off if you want to make it at a specific angle so all you to do is just uh, select the point where you want the text to be so let's just say that the starting point of my text is right over here and I will make sure that the so once you click on it you will see that the height option appears so this can adjust the height of your text so let's say if I want it to be this much high I can do that and then I will define our rotation angle at which we want to print our text so let's say I want to print it almost horizontally so I will select make a horizontal line and once I'm happy I will click again the mouse so as you can see the cursor appears and now we can type anything we want in the specified height and let's say if I if I am done naming this and I want to name a different object just like this one but in the same font so just move your cursor over to the point where you want the, your next text to be just click on there and as you can see that the cursor now moves to that side and you can name that just as same as the other one and once you're done naming you can just click anywhere to make an empty cursor and then just press escape to exit that command and you have successfully given names to your drawing now let's make a aligned test so let's say our height is this much and I want to print it and uh, print it and at an angle just like so so it will print the text just like this so it is a pretty nice feature in AutoCAD if you want to make a slanted height just like this one and you want to print it straight related to the line so this is the way to go this is the way to go